boys and girls, and how are you today? My name is Miss Porter, and these are my friends, Pete the Cat, Chung, and Ling. And we're so happy to see you today. Now, before we get started, I want to talk to you about manners. Yes, Pete and friends, what are manners? It's always polite to say good morning to someone. Why do we say good morning? Well, we say good morning because it teaches us excellent speech therapy. We're using our words, good morning, and it's very polite. Now, let me read you some things about why it's important to say please and thank you. Please and thank you shows gratitude for things that others do for you. So what is gratitude? Well, gratitude is simply appreciation. Like when someone is handing you something or say if your mommy or your daddy or your auntie, uncle, grandma or grandfather, sister or brother, they hand you something, you say, thank you because you want to show good manners. Good manners help you feel better. Good manners show others that you care about. What they do for you is very important and you appreciate them. And it gives them a nice warm hug when we use our manners. And it's also good to say, good morning, please, thank you, excuse me, because it shows that we care about other people. So when Miss Porter is speaking in the morning and she says, good morning to you, I'm saying that because I care about you. And I want you to know that I want you to have a very good day. So, through my good mornings, I'm sending hugs and lots of love, okay? All right, boys and girls. Now, remember, Pete and my friends Chung and Ling, we want you to say good morning to your family when they wake up. Because why? because it's the right thing to do. All right, boys and girls, are you ready to start your day? Let's start our day. And for all of my hearing impaired friends out there, when I'm touching my chin throughout the broadcast, I'm acknowledging them, letting them know that I hear and see you, and I want you to repeat along through the different types of lessons that we're doing through our circle time, okay? All right, so let's get started. I'm so glad to see you again, see you again, see you again. I'm so glad to see you again. Welcome to circle time. Do you know your five senses? Let's say our five senses. I can see with my eyes. I can smell with my nose. I can hear with my ears. I can taste with my tongue. And I can touch with my hands. Alla walla doo doo doo. Oh yeah. Alla walla doo doo doo. Oh yeah. I love you. Very good, boys and girls. And oh, if you do or participate or try, Harold the dinosaur is going to give you a dino work, meaning good job. <laughs> That's going to be our reward for the day. Okay, boys and girls, now, can you say the days of the week? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. The Sunday and this Monday, 
this Tuesday and this Wednesday, this Thursday and this Friday, and then this Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, now let's say the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. Now, let's say those days of the week again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. Now, let's say the days of the week in Spanish. Lunes, Martes, Miércoles, Webes, Viernes, Sabado, Domingo. Awesome. You get a dino my work from Harold the Dinosaur. Okay, boys and girls, let's do our months of the year. Pete and friends, are you ready to do your months of the year? Okay, Chung and Ling, I want to hear you loud and clear. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good. Now, let's say the months of the year in Spanish. Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Augusto, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, Diciembre. Very good. Now let's do the months of the year in Espanol, which is Spanish. Let's do that again. Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Augusto, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, Diciembre. Very good. Now, boys and girls, do you know your colors? Let's say our colors. Red and yellow and green and blue, purple and orange too. We're seeing a rainbow, a pretty rainbow, a pretty rainbow too. All right, let's get started. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, cafe. <laughs> okay, Pete and Chris, I get it. Yes, I was doing the Spanish brown, but we're gonna do the English brown. So let me do that one again. <laughs> brown and black. Miss Porter needs to focus, focus, focus. <laughs> Let's do that again in English. We're gonna do our colors in English. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, black. Okay, boys and girls, you know Miss Porter's gonna take her a dynamite work. <laughs> but no, we're gonna give it to you. <laughs> I don't know why Miss Porter wants to call the brown cafe <laughs> when we're doing the English first. Now, let's do our colors of the rainbow 
in Spanish. All right, let's get started. Rojo, anaranjado, amarillo, verde, azul, morado, cafe, negro. Very good. You did an awesome job. Let's do those colors in Spanish one more time. Rojo, anaranjado, amarillo, verde, azul, marado, cafe, negro. Very good. You get a dynamite work from Harold the Dinosaur. I know Pete and friends pay attention, Miss Porter. <laughs> All right, now let's do a nursery rhyme. But before we do a nursery rhyme, let's sing a song. Are you ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All in my home, I'm gonna let it shine all in my home. I'm gonna let it shine all in my home. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Very good, and remember, Always let your little light shine because you are important. Okay, boys and girls, let's do a nursery rhyme. Jack and Jill. All right, let's say it together. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Okay, let's do that again. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Very good. Okay, boys and girls. Let's do our shapes. Can you say your shapes? All right, Pete and friends, are you ready to say the shapes? Octagon, pentagon, square, hexagon. Okay, now let's say them again and we're gonna count the sides. Octagon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Okay, pentagon, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Square has four equal sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. And hexagon, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Now let's do our second set of shapes. Okay, let's turn right side up. All right, Pete. Chug and Lee, I can't hear you. All right. Oval, 
triangle, circle, rhombus, rectangle. All right, let's do those shapes again. Oval has no sides. Triangle has three sides. One, two, three, and a point at the top. Circle has no sides. Rhombus has four points. One, two, three, four. A rectangle has four sides, two short sides. One, two, and two long sides. Three, four. Very good. Okay, boys and girls. Let's do our alphabets. Are you ready to do your alphabets? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Very good. Now, boys and girls, I want you all to do those alphabets again. Okay, Pete and friends, are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Very good. Now, boys and girls, we're going to formulate those alphabets into words. Okay? And I want you to repeat this after me. And I'm going to spell the words out. We're going to spell them out together. The. The. T-H-E. The. Then. Then. T-H-E-N. Them. The, them, T H E M. There, the, there, T H E R E. These, these, T H E S E. Pete and friends, what letter are we saying most today? With all of the words, the sight cards that we're learning. What's the first letter we're using a lot today? The letter, is it A? No, it's not an A. Is it a B? No, I don't think it's a B. What do you think it is? Right, it's the letter T. We're using a lot of T's today to start out spelling our sight words for today. Very good. They, T-H-E-Y, they. This, T-H-I-S. This two T O two. Now that's not the number two, that's T O for say referring to someone that's something else, like to the store or 
I'll hand this to somebody, okay? So there's a difference. Time, t -t time, T-I-M-E. Okay, now we're going to turn the cards over and we're going to use a different letter in the alphabet. And we're going to do some of the words and I want you to figure out what is the letter that we're using the most of. And it starts with f -f fly, f -f -f fly, that's the phonic sound, F-L-Y, fly, for, f for, F-O-R, for, F-O-R. First, F-I-R-S-T, first. Find, F-I-N-D, find. Egg, E-G-G. -G. Now, let's skip back. What was the main letter that we used a lot in the previous sight word cards? Let's see if you're using your listening skills. This said find, F-I-N-D, and then this card said first, F-I-R-S-T. Is it the letter E? No. Mm, what'd you say, Chung? B, no, good tries, but no, it's correct, Link, it's F, it's the letter F, 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 I, R, S, T, that's the letter that we used a lot when we turned the cards over. Okay, let's continue on with some more sight words. Eat, E-A-T, eat. Da, da, down, D-O-W-N. Each, E-A-C-H. Da, dog, D-O-G, dog. Very good. You did such a good job using your phonics. You sound the words out, sound the letters out, and then we learn some new words and we spell them together. And you get a dynamite work from Harold the Dinosaur. Now, boys and girls, did you count your numbers? Have you been counting your numbers? Okay. All right, Chung and Link. Let's count our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go to 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now let's count our numbers again. Let's say them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Now, boys and girls, let's do our numbers from 1 to 20 in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Once, Dulce, trece, catorce, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Let's do the numbers 1 to 20 in Spanish again. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. Very good. Okay, boys and girls, you did such a fantastic job listening. Now, I have a toy surprise. All right, settle down, Pete and friends. And this toy is by VTech, and it's called Roll and Surprise Animal Train. Now, it teaches and develops uh, peak, press, twist, and slide, but it has a lot of peekaboo fun. It has four sing-along songs and 16 melodies. Okay, it has uh, 55 songs, melody sounds, and phrases. It teaches animals, music, sing-along songs, and colors. Uh, Pop-up surprises, which teaches mechanical play, develops fine motor skills, and this is for ages 6 to 36 months. And we um, also purchased this from Walmart. And that's where you can get this toy from. Let me get my scissors. I know Pete and friends are wanting me to hurry up and open it. Let me see. I'm gonna make sure I don't cut the strings. Okay. Let's pull it out. Boy, that's a long string. I know, I know, it's all caught in there, Pete. You don't want to cut it just in case it's a part of the toy. I don't think it is, so we'll go ahead and cut it. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, this, all right, let's turn it. Okay, it has an on and off switch right here. The train is ready to go. All aboard. Ooh. Are you ready? Here come the train. Let me turn it up. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Off we go. Ooh, it's so pretty and colorful. You heard that noise? All right, let's, let's see how we operate it. Oh, there we go. So I'm turning this. See you soon. And it has a ducky. Hi, I'm a yellow bird. Mm. All right, now let's push this button up here. Can you push that one? No. Do you know who makes this sound? Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. I'm popping up to say click and click. All right. Let's chug along to the zoo. All right, it wants to go to the zoo. It has a string. I'm trying to learn all the little mechanical things. All right, I'm touching these, and I guess that um, that's going to censor the music. But it rolls for um, parents out there, and then they can turn. The train is ready to go. All aboard. So every time you turn one of these knobs, it goes a, does a song. You put these in. Hmm. And it says it has 55 plus songs. I want to hear the songs. 
peekaboo. I'm an orange cat. Okay, so he's teaching us colors. <laughs> Hello, I'm a white dog with blue ears. Okay. Let's chug along. See you soon. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Porter's finger pushed that one. I didn't even mean to push that one. See you soon. But you all, this seems like a lot of fun. I'm going to turn it off. And I like the bright colors because when children see, uh, for child care providers and parents out there, when children uh, see vivid colors, that um, wants, makes them want to learn more. It helps their brain develop to um, want to um, get involved with, and I'm, I turned it off, get involved with learning more. It makes it more exciting. And on here, I want to point out, it also has the alphabet and then it has the numbers where they can count one, two, three, and then there's different songs and stuff. So yeah, this is a fun little toy. It's a lot of things all in one. Okay, so you have sing-along songs, music, and it just rolls and, it, and, you, and they can pull it. And while they're pulling it, it also makes a lot of um, music. And it's very um, sturdy and durable. So if you have like a little rough rider, um, I believe this toy can stand up to the um, playing time. And, and, and it'll last a long time as well. So that's our toy surprise for today. And we're so glad that you stopped by and we thank you. And we are so happy to see you today, but we also hope that you have a great, great day. Until next time, goodbye friends. Wait, goodbye Chug and League and Pete. Mm -hmm.